I missed, I missed my, my, my back to the three bitter. What? It's 30 minutes, man. It was 50 minutes long. <laughs> it's over. It's o- Bro, it was so bad. So I guess, uh, if you are not living in dorms, be prepared for the commute. What is up, people of the internet? My name is Avery, and I've just finished my second year of electrical engineering at UBC. But throughout my second year, I always wondered what second year was like for all the other engineering programs at UBC. So I reached out to a bunch of people, and in this video, we'll be covering almost everything you need to know before heading into second year mechanical engineering. Timestamps will be in the description below if you want to reference certain parts of this video again in the future. And without further ado, let's dive into second year mechanical engineering at UBC. Hey, my name is Avery. I'm sorry. My, my name is Anthony, and I just finished my second year of mechanical engineering at UBC. It's so versatile, man. You can do anything. I could do electrical. I could do civil. I could do it all. Okay, so Mech Two is what it's called, and it's so it's so weird. So like in total. Course codes that I've taken were Mech 220, Mech 221, Mech 222, Mech 223, and Mech 226. Yeah, and yeah, that's it. Five, five total. So it's a uh, we start early. It's a project class kind of thing. So it's like they teach. So it's like I think it's four sections. One of them is machining. So they teach you like they take you to the machine shop and like they teach you how to use a lathe or a milling machine or whatever. And then there's a drawing class where you do your engineering drawings. There's an electrical class where we do like little test circuits and stuff. And there's a software class where they teach you how to use CAD. Teach you how to use CAD. And then at the end of it, you have we we made like this little maglev device that would like you float this little engineering like the cairn like the e thing and that's pretty cool and that's mech 220 it's like three or four weeks long and then at the end so you have a final exam in september but you're only doing this solely like for like five days straight like like all day you know the whole week so you're only doing this class you don't feel like school started it's like it's a good start like you don't feel like you're in school Okay, so Mech 221 is like the only class you take, basically. And it's, uh, it encompasses a lot of classes. So it's math, there was differential, uh, like ordinary differential equations. There was circuits, there were dynamics, solid mechanics, and materials, all of those. So it would run like every day, eight to nine tutorial. So eight to nine was tutorials. Nine to 10 was lecture, 10 to 11 lecture, 11 to 12, sometimes tutorials and 12 to 1 would be your lunch so everyone would be off 12 to 1 and then you'd have 1 to 2 lecture and sometimes or and 2 to 3 i believe and then if you were it was your lab day you'd have like your three hour lab after that uh no midterms but you had a test every friday for like an hour and a half so <laughs> midterm and then we had like three finals i think because there would be like one final would be both dynamics and math and then the other one would be math and whatever circuits and the last one would be solid mechanics and math so they, they, they would always like throw two subjects together for all the exams even our tests were like multi-subject tests so sa- sa- very same format i think it's like schedules all, like almost the exact same except we only had them on monday wednesdays and fridays so no tuesday or thursday and then it was fluids thermo and math and you know fluid dynamics like Bernoulli's equation you know all the fun stuff like pipes and stuff thermodynamics everyone hated that class but that was like a pretty pretty chill class remember chem chem class you remember chemistry yeah very similar in some aspects and then math was uh multivariable calculus so all the triple integrals fluxes and stuff i i really think they joined calc 3 and 4 in that class but it was part of our calc 3 class too so it's like both combined, I guess. I yeah. Know. And tests every other week and labs every other week. That this is not, that's the main. That, 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 that is our project class. That, that, that was that was the Tuesday Thursdays that we didn't do in second semester. It's a, it's an amazing class. I had like the best team to ever exist. Okay, so you remember outside with all those like videos and stuff. It's like that basically like the lecture portion of the class and your own time. <laughs> you did your tutorials too. But then in your own time, you'd build like your project. And we had this off-road little RC vehicle that we had to build, which is pretty cool. You spend like hours on hours building with your team and stuff. And it's, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun.
we won, obviously, because <laughs> I'm at home. So, shout out to the boys. In the later half of the class, we did a second project, but we didn't have much time. So instead of making a brand new one, it was a firefighting car. So we just adjusted our our previous car to make a new project kind of thing. So it's like they would give you the controller and the receiver, mm -hmm. and then everything else you build yourself, and then as meet the requirements, you know, do, follow the entire design process, make your whatever whatever you need to do your documents, and then. Yeah, it was pretty fun. That was our only class we had a midterm, and we had a fun for that class too. So everything but that project side of the class, not fun. <laughs> not fun, not fun. But the project itself was fun. So the way 226 works is the first day of school, first day of school, like August, whatever, you do a test, a writing test, and then she grades your writing, and then she tells you if you're eligible to do 226 or 227. She'd be like, oh, like, your writing is bad so do 227 or you could choose to opt it but 227 is the only summer one and a 226 is the only one in the year it was one hour of lecture and one hour of tutorial a week for the entire school year the first semester you had like a little like writing assignment you had to do with a group and then the second one was uh, a video on the car you built so, like they kind of integrated a lot of these classes so you like you make a video for your car and that would be graded both in both classes and that was the big project for two to six in the second semester while the writing assignment was mainly for the first semester but it was pretty chill it was just one hour of lecture one hour of tutorial like you can't really miss it because second semester she forces you to have like these two minute quizzes to test your understanding or like your presence but they were open books so they were really easy because it was spanning both semesters they're both finals <laughs> you had a final in final season for first semester and second semester. But the second one semester is worth more, I believe. So I, I'm assuming the first one's supposed to be a midterm. I'm not so sure. Okay, so they choose your entire schedule for you. <laughs> so they, there were there was four options we had, I think. And no matter what you picked, it was random what you got. But I, 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 I like, it was weird. They'd move you around as need be. Courses are the same for everyone, right? Mm -hmm. But the labs is where it differed. So you'd either be a Monday lab, a Tuesday lab, a Wednesday lab, or a Thursday lab. Because Fridays are tests, so there are no labs on Friday. And then, so they would choose for you. It's pretty, it's pretty fun because you get really close with the people around you. <laughs> They're all mech exclusive classes, so no one else can take them. Mm -hmm. Which is, you do build community, but as well, like, you also feel detached a lot to campus, I feel. Because, like, you're always studying and, but that's the same with every program, but you're always studying and you're very secluded, doing your own thing. You can't compare with others that are not in your program. And there's some people who are too good to be there, like, <laughs> they're too smart, man. The work that I did or did not do. <laughs> so, like, first year was definitely easier, but second year was more enjoyable, you know? Like, it's, you're doing what you like, kind of thing. Like, that's, that, that's if you chose the program. You're doing what you like. Sure, there's always going to be a stupid test or so many stupid tests, but they're stupid for everyone, right? You're a class of, like, 130. If you're on average or even below a little, above a little, it's the same thing. Like, you're doing fine. But workload-wise, I would say maybe about the same. Like, it's, it really wasn't too bad. It was more like, as long as you put the time, like, I know people who would put so much time in it and they, like, excelled at it, right? So it's more like how much you're willing to do. Like, I didn't go to a single tutorial. Some were useless, but maybe some would have elevated my grades or whatnot. Because, like, every every time you don't go to a class, you got to make up for it somehow, right? So that's about it. Like, overall, same, I would say. My worst grade was probably materials, but it's like probably the easiest one. <laughs> I just hated it. But what's hard? Like it depends. Like like what what's hard? I feel like I feel like they're all decent if you put the time. Fluids was difficult if they throw in all these derivations that I can't do, then it'd be hard. But like it's fluids had the most potential to be hard. If that makes sense. <laughs> it's weird because so you do so here's how it works. So you you get a grade for every subject you do, but on your report card, it's all one grade. Is it the average of all of them? It's the average of all of them. It's so you could get like 100 in math and do really, really poorly in another subject, and you get like, oh, 60% or whatever, you know? <laughs> so that's, that's why it's one course code, right? You, well, like, because the SSC is weird, right? So they do need to give you courses. So like, there's stuff in there like MEC 224 and stuff like that with a grade, but that grade is like the exact same grade I got from X222. But just because of credit requirements, they would throw in like math, two, five, I don't know, okay, I, didn't, I think it's called 256. So they put like that subject in our report card 
and they've put in a grade, a post a subject, but that isn't your math grade, that's your everything grade, which is kind of not fair, but that's, that's, how, that's how they made it, basically. And Beck, you still have to pass every subject on its own to pass the oh. course. No, 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 enjoy your summer. Enjoy your <laughs> summer. Because you do, have, you, you do have a quiz on the very first day that tests your understanding of first year. You'll probably fail it. Who cares? It's like 2%. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's no point. You get to redo the quiz. So, you, so what happens is you do it in the first first day, then you do a couple weeks down, and they take your highest one. Just don't worry about it. If you really want to, maybe like two days before, like, but I really don't recommend it. I did it. I did look into it. Like, I did start studying a little bit, but it's like unnecessarily hard for like no reason. So like, don't don't bother. So don't bother. Just enjoy your summer. <laughs> It really isn't competitive to get in. It's just, it's just random. I'm gonna be honest, it's very random. Most people do get in, but like, I wouldn't say it's competitive to get in, even though I didn't get in, but it's, <laughs> it was very random. Like, I know people who are like top of their class or whatever, or they're in design teams and they got all these stuff and they still didn't, they didn't get in. I know people with like zero experience and they got in. So it's really, I guess, how you display yourself, but it's very much random. I would just recommend just do it as early as possible. Because time might be an issue, because I did it on like the last day, but it might not be the reason, but I know a lot of people who did it on the last day and also didn't get in, right? Mm -hmm. It could be a coincidence, it could be a correlation, but I would recommend just do it as early as possible, if you want to do co-op, that is. If you are in co-op, so definitely apply jobs, because I know people, like, there's a lot of people who get really good jobs, but... The moment you're in, start searching because I know people who did 70, 80 applications to find this really good job, but it doesn't come to you. So like you have to put yourself out there, be more, you know, proactive, like be out there, get get your resume out there and <laughs> apply. They, they, they help you with all of that because I think there's a job portal that UBC gives you yeah. and they constantly updating. I heard it's a shit platform, but they're constantly updating. <laughs> The only thing I did was like research with a professor from Megatsu. I reached out to her and how, like, I'm volunteering for them mm -hmm. and pretty fun. Well, it's it's very fun being in a lab just because like you start seeing things like because I'm it's, it's the whole like PhD student and they're trying to get their PhD and stuff. And I'm like, how, I'm like helping along the way as much as I can. I know nothing compared to them, but like it's fun because like. You get you're in this new environment, you're using, for me, I was using MATLAB, a lot of MATLAB, and I'm like, and there's a lot of MATLAB coding in Mech 2, so it helps to, like, the more I practice, right, the better I get at MATLAB coding, and it's like, it's very hand-in-hand, -hand. and it's fun, because you don't want to always be studying, so that's what I like to do. Eat, <laughs> sleep, repeat, but study in there somewhere, and then repeat. Like I said about like always be on top of your your stuff, but okay. One thing is a lot of people get too focused on studying that they don't take breaks. You you really should take breaks because if you don't take a break, you're gonna overwhelm yourself. You're gonna burn out in like the first three weeks, and then it just gets worse, right? Like it's like it kind of like a, pla a plateaus eventually, but like it gets worse because they start throwing more assignments at you. Like oh, you have this due and this due. Okay. For example, in Mech Two to Three, right? We're building this project, right? We're building this car, but a lot a lot of teams did not start working at this car early on and comes the last week of last week's people were there night and day just like starting their project and it's like they're like taking all nighters and all that sure like it isn't inevitable sometimes but i guess take a break but not too much <laughs> uh oh go to office hours if you can because mm -hmm. they really give you the answers a lot of the time to like the web work questions because we would have one web work due a week and it was everything right so go to office hours if you're lost ask your peers if you're lost but Apart from that, good luck. <laughs> Some mechanics. Materials. <laughs> uh, you can't outfangle the fangle, the fangler. <laughs> you can't outfangle. <laughs> I'm gonna need context for that later. You can't. Just... You just can't outfangle the fangler. <laughs>
mainly because of the com- cause I started commuting in second year, and like you you're used to it, but I was late so much. <laughs> I missed I missed my 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 Mac two to three midterm. What? Like, Thirty minutes, man. It was fifty minutes long. <laughs> It's over. It's o- bro, it was so bad. So I guess uh, if you are not living in dorms, be prepared for the commute and like take account for the time it takes to get to school. Probably working on the project with my team. Like we like overnight, probably overnight. It's like two a.m. Ordering some Domino's pizza, working in the. The mech room, building the car, watching everyone else struggle. Uh, that, that's the good stuff. Uh, no. No? I wouldn't. Mac all the way? Mac all the way. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> And that's pretty much everything you need to know before heading into second year mechanical engineering at UBC. I just want to say a huge thank you to Anthony for helping me with this video and for sharing his experiences in second year. As always, gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, I hope this video brought you value, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Course codes that are a project class kind of issue. Midterm? Oh, part of our class two class two. Videos and stuff. Done in your own time. They're both finals because of credit requirements. They draw a portal that UBC helped. I'm like helping along the way.